you went to a wedding and you're looking through those pictures, we understand your friend Lisa is in the picture and we offer to share the three photos with Lisa and with one click, those photos can be sent to her. Say, for example, if the photo in the same wedding, if the photos are underexposed, our AI systems offer a suggestion to fix the brightness right there, one tap, and we, we can fix the brightness for you. If a document which you want to save for later, we can recognize, convert the document to PDF, and make it also gives you controls to help you manage how and when you spend time on your phone. Maybe you have an app that you love, but you're spending more time in it than you realized. Android P lets you set time limits on apps and will nudge you when you're close to your limit that it's time to do something else. And for the rest of the day, that app icon is grayed out to remind you of your goal, to do not disturb mode, to silence not just the phone calls and texts, but also the visual interruptions that pop up on your screen. To make Do Not Disturb even easier to use, we've created a new gesture that we've affectionately codenamed Shush. If you turn your phone over on the table, it automatically enters Do Not Disturb, so you can focus on being present. No pings, vibrations, or other distractions. Unlike the current systems, WaveNet actually models the underlying raw audio to create a more natural voice. It's closer to how humans speak, the pitch, the pace, even all the pauses that convey meaning. We want to get all of that right. So we've worked hard with WaveNet, and we are adding, as of today, six new voices to the Google Assistant. Let's have them say hello. Good morning, everyone. I'm your Google Assistant. Welcome to Shoreline Amphitheater. We hope you'll enjoy Google I.O. Back to you, Sundar. You know, our goal is one day to get the right accents, languages, and dialects right globally. Sixty percent of small businesses don't have an online booking system set up. We think AI can help with this problem. So let's go back to this example. Let's say you want to ask Google to make you a haircut appointment on Tuesday between 10 and noon. So what you're going to hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon to schedule the appointment for you. Let's listen. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm hmm. recipes for pizza bombs. Sure, here are some recipes. So we can choose the first one from Tasty. That one looks good. You see all the recipe details come right up, and we can just tap to start cooking. Sure, here's Tasty. So seeing a video demonstration along with the spoken instructions is a total game changer for cooking, especially when you have your hands full. Hey, Google, order my usual from Starbucks. Hello, welcome back to Starbucks. That's one tall, non-fat latte with caramel drizzle. Anything else? So no thanks. And are you picking that up at the usual place? So I'm going to tap yes. OK, your order's in. See you soon. We 
bringing another feature to Gmail. We call it Smart Compose. So as the name suggests, we use machine learning to start suggesting phrases for you as you type. All you need to do is to hit tab and keep auto-completing. on an updated version of Google Maps that keeps you in the know on what's new and trending in the areas you care about. We've created a score called Your Match to help you find more places that you'll love. Your Match uses machine learning to combine what Google knows about hundreds of millions of places with the information that I've added, restaurants I've rated, cuisines I've liked, and places that I've been to. If you cook into the match number, you'll see reasons explaining why it's recommended just for you. Our teams have been working really hard to combine the power of the camera, the computer vision, with street view and maps to reimagine walking navigation. So here's how it could look like in Google Maps. Let's take a look. You open the camera. You instantly, you instantly know where you are. No futzing with the phone. You, you, all the information on the map, the street names, the directions, right there in front of you. Notice that you also see the map, so that way you stay oriented. Uh, you can start to see nearby places, so you see what's around you. And just for fun, our team's been playing with an idea of adding a helpful guide, <laughs> like that there, <laughs> so that it can show you the way. you are not going to see these in any other news app. Newscasts are kind of like a preview of the story, and they make it easier for you to get a feel for what's going on. Check out this one on the Star Wars movie. Here we're using the latest developments in natural language understanding to bring together everything, from the solo movie trailer to news articles to quotes and from the cast and more in a fresh presentation that looks absolutely great on your phone. turned out, using the same retinal scans, there were things which humans quite didn't know to look for, but our AI systems offered more insights. Your same eye scan turns out holds information with which we can predict the five-year risk of you having an adverse cardiovascular event, heart attack or strokes. So to me, the interesting thing is that you know, more than what doctors could find in these eye scans, the machine learning systems offered newer insights. Another area where AI can help is to actually help doctors predict medical events. And so we have put our machine learning systems to work. We've been working with our partners using de-identified medical records. And it turns out if you go and analyze over 100,000 data points per patient, more than any single doctor could analyze, we can actually quantitatively predict the chance of readmission 24 to 48 hours before, earlier than traditional methods. It gives doctors more time to act. 